the idea becomes the project. And with a little determination and elbow grease, the project turned into a pretty fun toy. Just like this guy right here. Now this one uh, was just my first attempt at a pretty much a ground up build, guys. You know, I really wanted to do it myself. Um, uh, yeah, I did uh, salvage an old, uh, I mean, this thing was ancient, like 78, 80, somewhere around in there. This is an old go-kart. It literally had a jack shaft that was geared, This and it had a pulley system. I mean, this thing had two gears on it. Pretty funny. <clears throat> um, but this was just my first attempt at, like I said, a ground-up build. A pretty successful build. I'm happy with it. Turned out pretty cool. Um, but now we want to jump back to our, our pre-build. Now, like I said, I, I like these, uh, top carts. My orange cart was pretty cool, but it was just way too tight. It just seemed way too small for me. Now, this thing is actually the biggest top cart. Well, one of the biggest top carts I've ever seen. Almost got this, uh, little mini sprint off this guy. And that one, that one's badass. It had like the big wide tires here. Uh, but yeah, this is just mock-up stages. You guys like my axle there, huh? A little broomstick. Uh, but as you can tell, this cart is a whole lot closer uh, to, to being able to be finished. You know, really all we need is our axle assembly, our brake disc, and our uh, our sprocket. We're ready to go. Uh, fuel cell, a couple of other parts. Still put our paint on her. Um, but you know, you got to get a good look at it, guys. You know, when when I first had this thing, just a frame, you really can't can't see what its potential is um but you kind of just throw it together you know you ain't got to put it together like it's supposed to be put together but just have a look at it you know what i mean make sure it's going to be what you want you know we got good clearance under there that's going to work out fine our wheels really ain't off center because they're like they're just sitting on a pole <laughs> sitting on the axle no hubs in them or nothing so then we're actually going to raise up about inch maybe an inch and a half uh but we should still have pretty good clearance looks like we've got about four inches in the back and three inches in the front so we've got plenty of room to play with uh, but we already got something to play with guys i kind of got in a hurry on this one because i wanted to get it done before july 4th so you know i could take the grandkids for a ride with the kids take it for a ride you know dad always has something cool to do at his house um so we kind of got this one together pretty quick for the holiday um this one we're gonna we're gonna slow back a little bit because we really ain't in no hurry we got something we can fuck around on in the meantime so we can just slowly put this thing together and create a pretty pretty badass machine man this thing's gonna be a beast let me tell you the red dragon <laughs> <laughs> 